huge hole in depth. And uh, as you can see, this is the adapter I just got today. So yeah, let's look into it. So it looks exactly like the, the Wii U one, and I don't get it. How the Wii U one is so rare, just because it says Wii U on it. Well, what a huge difference. It's, a, God, it's not really a huge difference. This one, at, at least, is better. It says the Nintendo logo. You can't see that. See? Nintendo logo. But yeah, you can pair up to four controllers, which I only have one. I'm not going to bring any friends over, because that's my game. I don't give a shit. I'm going to play online, okay? You know? I'm, they ain't even gonna let me play, okay? I'm not gonna let them play, okay? So, it connects with the GameCube controller, like this is the adapter I have right now. And it plugs in okay, really nice. And then the GameCube controller is literally right like here. It's pretty damn long, hold up. See? The wires are up. Yeah, so. I connected to the switch dock and this works really good. The adapter is in good quality. And I, I, if I were you guys, I would not go on Amazon and get any cheap ass ones. Stick with the Nintendo one. I know it's $20, not a big deal. But still, stick with the Nintendo products, alright? They're always the best products. Because, again, it's their products. Why would you trust another company? Unless it's Genki, who use, you know. AirPods, which I'm gonna buy next time. I'm, I'm gonna get Genki. I need that. God damn. Oh, can't wait. So, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. And I tested it out. Okay. Everything works. Everything is fine. The controller is not broken. Okay. The adapter is good quality. And it's available. Dude, these things right here, it's available. Get it while you still can. Please, someone, get it now. Please. Because, you know, I'm not to give away anything because I don't have enough money because I'm a kid. But, long topic. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. What's up, guys? Keton847 here. And today, I'm going to do the full in-depth review on my GameCube phone. So yeah, let's get into it. Alright, so we step step in here in my room, you know. You see my luscious GameCube controller. You know, everything is all seen, the buttons. And I I put in a Pokemon Let's Go video, but we need to really like, fully take a look at it. So yeah, let me unwrap this thing. Alright guys, so you can see I I'm wrapping it right now. So I'm releasing another video, which is about the GameCube controller adapter, which, yeah, it's going to work like this. So, if you can't tell, these buttons are the exact same. Um, the matte finish is pretty good. It's not really matte, but, you know, it feels, you know, the same. And this is, like, the best part. So, far, the Smash logo, take a look at that. And then, Everything is the same, you know, you always play with the A button, always for all the competitor smash. You know, it's always pretty good. The C stick is so good, and all sticks the same. And the L button. And I tested it out, I don't have any, I don't have the capture card, so I won't be able to capture any footage on my Switch, so. Yeah, but I tried it out, it's actually pretty good. I don't have Smash yet, obviously, but. I went to the eShop and, you know, check out, you know, if there's any cool games. And, um, yeah, this controller really works. So, yeah, it's worth the $50. If you don't have the adapter, it's 50 obviously. Which, <laughs> I had to do it, so. Yeah, I, yeah, I really love this controller. Especially the Smash Edition. Oh, sexy. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you in the next video. See, peace out. Bye.